So we have had details on what's next for Borderlands 3, new skill trees, a new DLC and a few other bits and bobs on what is coming. Now I know this info is still new as I am currently being spammed with questions so hopefully today I can clear some of the confusion up for you guys who might still have questions here. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support hitting that like button truly helps out and subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. So we are currently within the early stages of DLC 4 and while it's decent, not the best DLC as a whole in my opinion, but it's still a good DLC. But what's next for Borderlands? Many people thought this DLC was going to be the last in terms of an expansion and to be honest I thought the same. But recently at PAX, Gearbox shared a few details on what's to come within the future of this game and well it looks pretty decent. Now I'm guessing you know of the 4th skill trees, I mean I covered these months back. Even though they were only just officially announced, we knew about them a long while ago. But we did get an insight from Gearbox on a new skill tree for Flak. here yeah, check it out. Hey everyone, it's Graham from the Borderlands 3 live team. I'm excited to tell you all that we still have more in store for Borderlands 3. Later this year you'll see another DLC, this time including new game modes, missions, and an additional skill tree for each of the Vault Hunters. We'll have a lot to talk about later, but for now let's take a quick peek at Flak's new skill tree and pet. So a new skill tree means of course two things, new action skill ability and new pet. I'm proud to announce that Flak's new Trapper skill tree adds Hyperion Loader Bots as a pet. Loader Bots are range-based pets, but eventually can be spec into more close quarters versions as you go down the tree. All loaders start as Ion Loaders. These are equipped with the Hyperion Shock Sniper Rifles. Their attack commands fire slow-moving shock projectiles that can be shot, creating shock novas. Later in the tree, you can evolve the Ion Loader into a Bull Loader or even War Loader. Bull loaders use a large shield and Hyperion automatic shotguns to get up close and personal. They feature a strong melee roundhouse attack and can even use their shield to knock enemies into the air. Now the deadly war loaders. They pack incendiary Hyperion shotguns and can toss grenades. Their attack command uses rocket pods attached to their backs to fire homing missiles out onto the battlefield. You can even spec these guys to be exploder bots if you like. Now for the action skill of the trapper tree, the gravity snare. The gravity snare trap tosses enemies into the air before slamming them back down into the ground. Any enemies caught in its radius will have their attacks interrupted, giving Flak a crowd control skill for the first time. We also wanted to address some feedback we had received from the community regarding Flak and their pet survivability. So you'll see an emphasis on shields in this tree. For example, the Better Toys passive ability gives Flak and their pets bonuses to recharge and recharge delay speeds on their shields. The Take This passive provides pets a duplicate of Flak's currently equipped shield. And the Fuzzy Math passive ability even restores a portion of Flak and their pet's shields when they land critical hits. Finally, the capstone for the Trapper Tree is Capacitance. This skill effectively doubles Flak's shield and immediately begins recharging it whenever they activate an action skill. So that's just a peek at Flak, and we can't wait for everyone to get their hands on this skill tree. Hope you're up for some weird stuff, Vault Hunter. So looking great for sure, and I am happy to see a kind of defensive tree for Flak. Should be interesting. Now the other Vault Hunters in Zayn, Moz and Amara, there's been no official word on their trees from Gearbox at all, but I have a load of info if you are interested. I will link the video I covered these trees in within the video description if you do want to learn more on them. But it's looking good overall. Now one of the main questions I keep getting is, are these skill trees going to be free? Are they going to be a part of the current season pass? And will the future DLCs be included too? And when will we get these new trees? Well I can answer all of these questions people. The new skill trees, they will not be free. Confirmed by Gearbox, these are premium trees that will come with the next DLC. As Gearbox said the following, Gearbox Software Creative Director shared the news that another paid DLC is coming later this year, bringing an additional skill tree for each Vault Hunter and more to those who purchase it. And no people, they will not be a part of the current season pass. We paid for four DLCs and we've had them. 
Now, will a new season pass be released for us to purchase? Well, that hasn't been announced yet by Gearbox, and if I'm honest, from now going forward, I can see DLCs being just paid for expansions and not a part of any season pass because this way Gearbox isn't tying themselves into so many DLCs or certain amount of DLCs and if they release them when they want for a set price they'll probably make more money and I think it would probably benefit us better as a player as well as the devs. It means DLCs like the fourth DLC we got now won't feel half baked like many people think it is. So what do we know about DLC 5? Well we know it comes with new skill trees for our Vault Hunters. That's cool, looking forward to that for sure. We also know it comes with a new game mode, which Randy Pitchford said himself, this new game mode is actually more like a new game. So that's very, very interesting and I cannot wait to see more details on that. But no other details on this DLC 5 have been released. But the next major expansion in DLC 5, I do believe will be released the end of this year with next gen consoles. Because as confirmed by Gearbox, current gen owners of the game will be able to upgrade for completely free to next gen, being able to bring across our saves at the same time. This allows us to play, they state, single player in 4K 60 frames per second. So I'm guessing this means not with our friends. They also confirm cross-platform play at the same time, so PlayStation, Xbox and PC players seemingly can play together. This I guess means we can send each of our items across platforms too, or at least trade them in-game across platforms, that's pretty cool. They also mention split screen with up to 4 players and a vertical split screen too, which we've wanted for the longest of times, so I can't even remember now. Hey everyone, we're not done talking about Borderlands yet. I'm Pat Finn, producer for Borderlands 3, and we are bringing Borderlands 3 to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Along with this, if you're a current gen player and you own the game on Xbox One, you'll get a free upgrade to Xbox Series X. And if you own it on PlayStation 4, you get a free upgrade to PlayStation 5. This includes all content, all saves. You'll be able to bring everything over from the last generation to the current. Along with this, this next generation will have the game running at 60 FPS in 4K in single player. The Borderlands have never looked better. And, as a new feature for the first time in Borderlands 3, we'll be bringing 4-player split-screen to the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Along with this, we'll be adding vertical split-screen play to Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. In 2021, we are proud to announce that we're bringing cross-play to Borderlands 3. So no matter how you own it, you'll be able to play it with your friends. We're very excited about this next generation of consoles and we can't wait to be playing in the Borderlands with you this holiday season. So yeah guys, interesting times ahead. And also to end the video, I'm hearing rumors on the Bloody Harvest event coming back real soon. You heard it here first guys, remember that. But stay tuned for any more information on it. So yes, I hope this still cleared a few things up for you. Like I said, if you want to check out more on the fourth skill trees, I will link my video within the video description, which goes into detail on what we know so far about these fourth skill trees, the names, what they offer, and so much more. But yeah, DLC 5 has been confirmed. We will be getting fourth skill trees. We will be getting a new mode, which Randy Pitchford states is more like a new game, but it is still early days yet. So I expect many more details to come people. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BR3, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.